In this video, we want to look at how to load journals via a spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do is go to general accounting, select journals, and I'm going to go to my task panel and select create journal in spreadsheet. So what would happen is that an Excel spreadsheet would be downloaded. So I'm going to, just going to open the spreadsheet in Excel and then populate it. But first we'll ask me to connect and that's connecting to the server, Oracle server, and I'm going to log in as my username and password. Let's sign in. And you will need to install a plugin called the ADFDI executable. And once you've installed that, you'll be able to very quickly open up the spreadsheet and it will create a tab for you, which will allow you to then upload the file. So I'm going to call my journal monthly adjustment. Actually, let me just call it a uh, legacy monthly adjustment. Legacy monthly adjustment, and then my ledger will be my Acme US ledger accounting date. So I'm going to use the first of the first 2018. It's no adjusting period. So that's my sources spreadsheet category is adjustment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to load my journal for a number of lines. So let me just open my data that is coming in from another system. So what I've done here is I've just created base data. Um, I've used some random numbers so I can create my full debits and credits and I have a balancing figure. So that's my balancing figure will go into this column and I'm just going to use as many accounts as possible. So I've got my assets, liability, revenue accounts, expense. Uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy and paste this. So I would need about 300 odd lines, 300 to be precise. I would need about 370 lines. So let's add those lines. But before I do that, I have to unprotect my spreadsheet. This will allow me to add multiple lines. So as I'm scrolling down, you can see it's telling me I've got five rows, seven rows. So let's take this all the way to about um, 367. So let's insert. So this are my rows. So I'm just going to copy and paste my data into this spreadsheet. I can, if I want to, double click and then I'm able to enter my combination. So if I have the combination, I can actually enter my combination. So again, this opens up the same combination that I have within the form. So let's cancel this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy and paste. Um, actually, let me just company three, two, five, one. A line of business will be 10. And my intercompany will be three, two, five, one. So let's copy and paste all my data. all the way down so that's my data there are some that are blank so i'm going to have to remove those ones once i load them in so Control c to copy put that here Control v to paste 
So that's my my account. And what I'm going to do is copy this to a few lines. So that's a few lines. And I'm going to very quickly add this all the way down. So let's double click. So again, do the same thing here. Copy to a few lines. Double click all the way down. So let's get the values in. Now because I have some calculations. So let's have a look. So where I've got the blank lines, I'm just going to delete those after I've entered them. So let's go all the way down. So I've got a few blank lines there. You can see those ones. All my expense values. Okay, I think that's the last of my lines. Control C to copy. So let's go to my, I'll come back to my currency in a second. So let's go to my debits and credits. That's my data. You can see that it balances. My currency will be US dollars. And let's copy this all the way down. I can if I want to put some uh, line description as well. So let's just be a little bit uh, January 18, a little bit intuitive with that. I'm just going to put in January 18 legacy adjustment. I'm just going to say line expand this a little bit uh, line 001 let's do that okay I was going to expand this or maybe perhaps I should just use my description of my account it's just account description hmm what do you think yeah let's do that Okay, I'm going to be slightly smart here. I'm going to insert and I'm going to do a concatenation. I'm just going to call this Jan equals concatenation of Let's put a text here. John 18 space dash space. And my second text will be my column. And I will just use this as my description. So let's do that. and paste this so so that's my description of my lines so what I'm going to do is look for those blank ones that we had earlier on I'm just going to delete those lines so Right, these are the lines I need to delete. So let's delete them. Select, right click, delete. You go all the way down. There should be some blank spaces at the bottom as well. Um, interesting. Yeah, this has got no values. So again, I'm going to delete all of this. Right click, delete. So let's go back and see what we have for the totals, debits and credits. You can see that that balances. And you have to remember that your 
journals have to balance on the primary and also on the secondary segment. So I think we're good to go. Let's now load our spreadsheet. And to do that, you select your Create Journal tab and you submit. And that's loading your spreadsheet into the server. We have some options. Either we save it to the interface, submit a journal or submit and post. So I'm going to submit and post. We don't have any DFF, descriptive flex field. Otherwise, we could also have imported those as well. So let's submit. So that's our concurrent program, sorry, our scheduled process submitted. So let me just click on OK. And you can see that the rows is successfully inserted. What I didn't show you earlier on was that there's a little arrow here to tell us if a field or a row is uh, has changed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this spreadsheet because I can reuse this later. So let's save this. Give it a name based on your environment or even on your data access set. Let's go to my... Yes, scheduled processes. So we can see that journals imported as refresh. Post single journal, post journals for single journal, single, uh, post journals for single ledger. So it's imported and it's posted. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go home, not literally, but click on the home button and I'm going to go back to my journals to search and see what the what's been posted so let's have a look at the posting so I'm going to select journals and let's go to oh, actually what I didn't do earlier on let's look at all and that would give me the details so let's go to manage journals and accounting period equals Jan so we should have two journals here at least oops search and we can see the legacy monthly adjustment journal 2.1 million dollars I can see all my, that's my journal that I've entered via the spreadsheet posted as well. So that's how to create a journal via the spreadsheet. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.